Hi, this is Jennifer Priest, and today I want to share with you a stamp tea towel holiday gift set. So this is made with some linen that I cut to 18 by 24 inches and then I pressed the edges so that I could go ahead and sew around the edges. So I folded each edge over twice so that I could get a nice clean uh, seam all the way around the edge. And then what I did is I took a scrap of, of the fabric and I stamped on it with Color Snaps uh, Color Box Crafters ink. So this is an ink that's made specifically for fabric. And you want to stamp on a test swatch first to see how it's going to work with your fabric. And then heat set it with an iron. Once you've heat set it, that's going to make it permanent. So here I took these really gorgeous bird stamps, uh, flourish birds from 100 proof press, and I stamped them in the corners using two different colors of the crafter's ink on this really pretty linen fabric. Next, I use an Epson Labelworks printer to create custom ribbon and custom labels for my gift set. So the ribbon that I'm printing right here is actually for some Christmas cookies. You can print anything that you want on uh, this ribbon and it comes in a couple different styles. The one I'm using is a navy blue ribbon with gold printing on it. And I'm just typing in, you know, a message here in the Labelworks printer. And then I'm also adding some symbols. I'm going to add some cute little snowflakes. They have over 300 different symbols that you can use. And there's a book that comes with the printer that will tell you all of those symbols. So um, you can also print multiple. So right here I'm printing five copies of the same message onto a piece of ribbon. That way it'll be long enough for me to tie my little gift bags of cookies closed. Now, while that's printing, you can go ahead and work on other things if you want to. Um, and you can see that it prints out perfectly. It's dry. It, you don't have to, like, not mess with it or anything. It's permanent uh, ink printed right there on the ribbon. And like I said, the cartridges come with different colors. You can get, like, pink with black writing. Um, there's, like, a really pretty, like, beige uh, kind of sand color that you can also get printed with uh, black ink. And there's also a bunch of different fonts. There's frames and all kinds of cute things that you can do uh, on here. Now, once your label maker has finished printing, what you're going to want to do is press the button on the side to cut the ribbon. So you can see here my ribbon says Christmas cookies from the priests. Now, you can save that uh, wording or you can get rid of it. And what I'm going to do here is change out the cartridge. So I was using the ribbon cartridge. Now I'm going to use the iron-on cartridge. You can switch between ribbon, iron-ons, and labels. And I'm just going to erase what I typed before so that I can now put a new message that I'm going to print onto the iron-on uh, piece of fabric. So here I'm typing the word peace and I'm going to go ahead and print that out a couple different times. I'm going to put peace in two of the corners and I'm going to put joy in the other corners. And here's a picture of the book so that you can kind of see what it looks like. There's the different symbols in there. Um, you know, so you can kind of get a feel for what you can do with this printer. Now it shoots out the top. You can see there where the, the uh, label is printing out. And I'm just going to cut each of these individually. So instead of printing them in a long strip like I did with my ribbon, I want these each to be a nice cut little piece of label that I'm going to iron on to the edge of my tea towel. So I did two of the peace words and here I'm printing two of the joy words. They come out really quick and again they're instantly dry so now they're ready to be ironed on. So in my, in my other room I went and ironed the uh, labels on and while I was doing that ironing that also heat set my color box crafters ink. And now I'm just pinning some uh, pretty lace trim for the from the Hydrangea Hippo Etsy shop onto the edge of my tea towel and then sewing that all the way around the perimeter of the tea towel. So this just gives it something special. You know, something like that, you know, you might pay some, like $18, $30 for a piece like this at Anthropology that has this handmade look. Well, I can make it for pennies on the dollar. You can make it for pennies on the dollar at home and totally customize it. So again, you want to go all the way around the whole perimeter of that tea towel with this really pretty a crochet trim that you can get at hydrangeahippo.etsy.com. And now that that's all ironed, I want to do a little bit of uh, embroidery around those labels. That's going to help give them a little bit of definition and again add to that handmade homespun feel of this uh, tea towel. It makes it's something that makes it extra, extra special. 
So the next thing that I'm going to do to do some embellishing on here is use the Crystyler by Norma Rapco for Walnut Hollow. So here I have some of the Crystyler crystals. These are a 20 SS crystal and I'm using the Crystyler 20 tool. I'm just using some Elmer's embellishment glue. This is not washable. Um, if you put this glue on, you could use something like E6000 or Fabric Tac to create a washable uh, place for your gems, but I'm just using this embellishment glue. So the way you use the Crystyler is you press the tip of it down onto the crystals. It picks them up and loads them into the cylinder. And then you just take the tip of the Crystyler and press it wherever your glue is and then press the little lever up on the top so that that dispenses a crystal right where your glue is. Super easy and fast for adding crystals to projects. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope that you were inspired today to create something to make your holidays handmade this year. All right, thanks so much and please hit that subscribe button at the end of the video.